I spend a lot of time reflecting and praying, meditating on the qualities I'm looking for. Filtered down to five qualities. That was it. So going in there, I, I just browse through it and then I just know, does he have the faith I'm looking for? If not, out. Hello everyone, welcome back to another dating tip episode. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Crystal. I make videos every week about travel and dating tips. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss my new video notifications. All right, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about the delay. I was traveling the entire January, spending some quality time with my family in Taiwan. Now I'm back, so get ready for a lot of great dating tip videos and travel videos. For today's episode, it's actually a real Kobe Meets Bagel couple interview. I invited my friend Christina, who met her partner, now husband Kevin, on the Kobe Meets Bagel app in 2016. And three years later, they just got married in December 2019. And in this video, they are going to share some useful tips, including how can you filter your candidate much faster by finding the three to five qualities that matter to you the most and why being patient is so important and why should you enjoy your single time and lastly for guys how to take rejections just like drinking water if these tips sound interesting to you all you need to do just keep on watching I went through that process of mm -hmm. just eliminating what I don't need <laughs> in a guy mm -hmm. in that process during my depression time mm -hmm. that I spent a lot of time reflecting and praying meditating on the qualities I'm looking for, whether they're very important or not. Mm -hmm. Through those time, I filtered down to five qualities. That was it. So going in there, I, I just browse through it, and then I just know, does he have the faith I'm looking for? If not, out. That was it. So can you tell me again the five criteria that you had? Faith, career, how, oh, I just have a job. Uh -huh. Health, mm -hmm. knows how to manage money, and attractiveness. And my takeaway is that with those five things that I'm looking for in a guy, so it's very easy for me to swipe away guys. Mm -hmm. But then when Kevin came around, he truly satisfied everything I wanted, mm -hmm. but then he still wasn't the one I was thinking because I was kind of stuck in the past somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's not this or that. He's not well-traveled. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know Taiwanese mm -hmm. food. He doesn't know our culture. He doesn't use chopsticks. Mm -hmm. How about that? I could just cut him right away. Mm -hmm. But then I made a promise in my head. I'm like, five things I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So my takeaway is when you meet someone who is what you, you might be looking for, mm -hmm. but don't give up because online dating is truly two strangers you're talking about. Two random people in the world mm -hmm. that you think he may be a potential. Mm -hmm. It will take time. It took us at least a year to sort out our differences. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, enjoy your singleness. You don't always have to find a guy to make you feel happy. Mm -hmm. I, I think I was very happy to just leave the app behind and just enjoy my time with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And now I'm married, it's a different phase of life. Just enjoy being single. I, I really enjoy being single. <laughs> so going into online dating, I just have faith that I will need someone there. And so that I was always telling my friend, you know, in a couple years, we're gonna get married and we won't have that much time together anymore. Mm -hmm. And then, which is true, and once we take away, yeah. I talk to a lot. Uh, in today's culture, there's always this sort of mentality where you have to find the right person with the right gifts, with the right personality. Right, how's um, the right car? <laughs> yeah, how does he drive the right car, you know, stuff like that. The real question is, am I the right person for this person over here because when you go into relationship dating is a sort of precarious situation that you're both very vulnerable there's a connection of emotions and your control or whatever because we always have like this notion where two halves make a whole but two uh, half of this person half of this person doesn't really make a whole you just there will be like a tearing apart and rather than a, a union and you shouldn't be able to sort of force those values or make someone else try to be right, you should be right in yourself and that, that will naturally attract, coerce the right person to show up. We would have uh, bumble nights with my dear friend Patrick, so it was always fun to like broadcast his bumble app on the TV and then 
we would just see the matches, the potential matches he would get and whatnot. It was always I fun. I see. Um, Can I share about the five criteria when she was looking for a guy? What about for you? Sure. I don't have a five bullet points more or okay. less, but ultimately there has to be some chemistry, some attractiveness involved, obviously. Okay. Um, and then just be able to, like, easy to talk to. Faith-based, strong mm -hmm. faith, and um, yeah, as I said, strong values as well. Mm -hmm. Those are the key things I was looking for. Um, for me, I might be slightly biased, but I feel like there's a lot more guys than girls on these dating apps, maybe? Is that accurate? So whenever you try to talk to a girl, she sometimes doesn't talk back, or she gives like a one-word response, which is always like a big no-go. It's always sort of uh, strenuous to find like someone who's able to reciprocate your messages at the time, just because there's so many competition. What's your first impression about Christina? Oh, she's attractive. She's lovely. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think just me being impatient uh -huh. that I'm going through online. A part of me felt like maybe I'm just not attractive. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find a guy mm -hmm. in real life that I'm here now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it just take a long while for me to go through guys. It's just, I want a simple guy. It's easy to get discouraged. Um, yeah. It's, because yeah. oftentimes you want immediate gratification when you go out there, but usually it should take time. It should be a slow process. It shouldn't be a fast process because ultimately, when I went to it, I was looking for someone I was spending the rest of my life with, rather than you know just sort of yeah, I'll go with this woman and this woman some of the time. It should be a slow process so you can carefully consider it because, as I said, dating is a precarious situation. With you have like where you experience raw emotions, where you're trying to connect on a deep level with another human being. And that sort of stuff shouldn't come quickly. It should be a slow, gradual process. Be bold, take risks, ask people out. Don't be afraid of rejection, at least on the app, because I was always, like when I was okay Cupid, I was always sort of talking to people and figuring out, do you want to get some, go together, like go out some time? And they would have to say no. I was like, okay, no big deal, no loss. Because um, it's always better to take a risk and get rejected than forever dwell on what could have been. Uh, in that, you know, with that potential. So if you ask a girl out and she says, oh, it's okay, just say, yeah, okay, no problem. Don't take it to heart and, right. you know, just agonize over that rejection. Just say, okay, whatever. Which I really appreciate. We, we got connected and then you, you have to talk to each other in that one week window, right? And we were talking, so he made sure that I have my faith. And, and then his next question is, hey, so what do you want to do on this day? Uh -huh. And he straight up just asked me out. Mm -hmm. Actually, he used a really funny phrase. He said, "If you won like a lottery or given a gift card for like five hundred dollars, where, where would you like to go?" Oh. Yeah. So he was trying to be funny. Taco Bell. I'm like, okay, okay. He's he's trying. Not funny enough, but he's trying. And then so we we went out for our first day, Sunday lunch. <laughs> yeah. And then. And he was very generous. He said, order anything, it's on my tree, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I think guys these days, sometimes I have complaints from my other girlfriend, complain about how guys just talk to them and then just wander off and mm -hmm. disappear after a mm -hmm. week or something. Mm -hmm. And maybe they have their lack of interest too. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I really admire that, that um, he's interested. He just say, hey, let's just go out. Mm -hmm. Because it's so different from talking through text online right, versus right. in person. You have mm -hmm. so much more when you meet a person. Mm -hmm. For me, is to be open-minded, mm -hmm. to not narrow yourself. Mm -hmm. Like Even though I have like five things I'm looking for, but they're pretty broad. Hold on to those values, but don't overly focus on like the look and things like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like don't be narrow-minded, be open-minded. Mm -hmm. And other than that, be free, be single. You know, enjoy your time. Go travel, explore, do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a phase, mm -hmm. and there will be one for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me three adjectives to describe each other. Attractive, kind, genuine. Steadfast, ambition, ambitious, faithful. Oh. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you find Christina and Kevin's story inspiring and remember to be patient because you will find the one eventually. If you want to see more online dating couple interviews or dating tip videos, feel free to click the videos here. And again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!